Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome or welcome back to another edition of This or That. And what This or That is, <laughs> is I ask you a question regarding yarn or crochet or crochet techniques or things we do like tassels or pom-poms. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to ask you a question and you can give your opinion or your answer down in the comments under the video in the comment section. I can learn from you and you can learn from me. And be sure and read other people's comments as well because we can all learn from each other. And I do try really hard to read every single comment that you make. All right. So what is today's question? Well, I've gotten lots of questions recently and of course through the years about what is a multiple and when can they be used. So my question to you is this, do you ever use multiples when adjusting your patterns or do you just sort of wing it? I know in the past before I really understood what a multiple was when I was just first learning to crochet, when you start out with that beginning chain, it would say maybe chain 50 <clears throat> and I wanted whatever was bigger or whatever was chained bigger. And so I would just chain a whole bunch more chains. I would do the pattern and then if I had extra chains, I'd just take them out and then I didn't worry about it. And then one day I had a crochet book and it said multiples and a light bulb went on in my head that I didn't have to do it that way anymore. But I still do it that way sometimes if I'm a little bit lazy and I want to just do the pattern. <laughs> so really the question is, <clears throat> do you use multiples or do you just sort of wing it as we've said? Now, if you don't know what a multiple is, I'm going to explain that to you. Okay. So let's go over to the other camera and talk a little more about what is a multiple. So here's a crochet stitch dictionary. I think I picked this up about 10 years ago just because I wanted a bunch of different types of stitches to practice with. And um, I like this book because it has pictures. You can find this on Amazon. I just picked it up on Amazon by Sarah Hazel or Hazel. I don't know how you pronounce her last name. But anyway, when you look inside, and I'm not going to give you like the pattern or anything. You need to get the book if you want to see what the patterns are. But you'll see sometimes it'll say multiple any number of stitches. When it says that, it's because it doesn't matter because you don't have a repeating like shell stitch or V stitch where you're skipping stitches and things like that. It's just a basic back loop single crochet, front loop single crochet. It just says multiples of any number of stitches is what your multiples are. Okay, but let me switch over to another pattern just so that you can understand. Here's one that's a little more complicated. Okay, and at the beginning of this one, it says six stitches plus five. Well, what does that even mean, right? Well, what a multiple means is you're going to multiply how many you want, and you need to do that by six. And then once you've done multiples of six plus five. Okay, so let me make that real simple for you. Okay, so you want six times the pattern. So you'd go six times six, which is 36, and then you'd add five additional chains. Be 39. So then you would chain 39. Okay, and you can get all the information up here as to how big or how small the pattern would be. But we're basically just talking about multiples today. Okay, like let's go over to this side of the book. It says multiples of six plus one. So you, if you want to do that 10 times, six times 10 is 60, and then you'd add one more chain. And sometimes that's necessary because you might have two or three or four extra stitches at the beginning or end of a row, or if you start with a foundation, you don't have those. But if you started with chains, you may need two or three extra stitches at the beginning or end. 
okay? Your multiples on this one is four stitches plus three. So you'd multiply times four. So if you wanted to repeat the pattern 10 times, four times 10 is 40. So you do 40 chains plus three, because it says four stitches plus three. Okay, <clears throat> so let me, let me just show you. Now I've got these examples out here because we're gonna talk about when and where you can use a multiple. All right, so let's say I'm doing multiples of just two and it's wa it wants me to do multiples of two plus two. All right, so I'm going to do my slip knot and let's just say I want to do multiples of two, so I'm going to do five of them. So two times five is 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then it says multiples of two plus two. So then I do two more. Okay, so that makes 12. And that's all a multiple is. And sometimes you have those extra at the end because if I'm going to start with a double crochet, I'm going to start in the fourth chain from the hook and stitch my double crochet. And then those first two, the chain three we skipped, and then the next one counts as two double crochets. And then we'll double crochet across. My ball of yarn to run off the table there for your first row, okay? That's all a multiple is. Sometimes though, multiples don't really work because if you're stitching, say, a granny square, you can't do multiples on a granny square. And so that's where you'll get measurements that say one row equals this or two rows equal that. Okay, so let's look at this real quick again. So we did multiples of two, two times five is 10 plus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, oh, I missed a chain, that's why. I should have had 10. I was talking and missed a chain. It happens. <laughs> All right, and so then I have 10. And that keeps me on my multiples of two. But because we started with a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook, we only have 10. All right, so basically multiples, when it says, multiples of two, four, six, eight, or 10. You do multiples of those. If it's multiples of 10, you can do 10 times 10 and have 100 stitches. And then it might say plus three or plus four. Sometimes it'll say plus 12. So it's multiples plus that additional amount that it says. All right, let's look at it again real quick just so that you understand what I'm saying. <clears throat> The multiple is six stitches plus five. So if you're gonna do repeat times 10, six times 10 is 60. So you'll chain 60 plus an additional five. Okay, that is what a multiple is. And that helps you adjust the pattern. <clears throat> now, when can a multiple be used? Well, when you're stitching rows, whether it be big or small or even bigger like a blanket, you can use multiples. That actually goes that way. Your rows are this way. There we go. <laughs> but when you're stitching something that's in the round, the multiple doesn't really work. You have to go by the rows. And that's sometimes it'll say one row equals, or one, yes, it'll say something like, two rows or three rows equal one inch. And that's talking about your rows, okay? And then, it, and then the next thing it might say is how many stitches equal an inch. And that will help you in figuring out how many repeats you want to do by how many stitches equal an inch. And that's where it's important to have that tape measure around, okay? But when you're doing something that works in a round, like a granny square, or a circle, <clears throat> you increase by how many rows or rounds you increase, not by how many chains, because we don't start with a row of chains. Multiples only work when you're starting with a foundation row, like a single, double, half double foundation row, where you're doing a whole row across, or when you're doing a chain across, all right?
So I bought this book off Amazon, I'm going to say about 10 years ago, and I really love it. I've been able to practice a lot of neat stitches. So that is something, if you want to pick that up, you certainly can. I believe I paid $25 for it. This says $22.95, or in Canada, $29.95. And that's just on the back of the book. So, I mean, it's got tons of 200 essential stitches. And it's really fun if you want to learn uh, just some basic stitches and also learning about how to do multiples. This book will help you a lot. Okay. And I, I'm, I'm, I don't have, I, this isn't my book. I don't have anything, you know, I'm not gaining anything from it. I just wanted you to know, um, a good book to learn multiples from. Okay. And then also, you know, learning about when and where and how to measure and things like that. And when I was first learning how to, to crochet, like I said, if I wanted to make something bigger, I would just make a whole bunch of extra chains and then stitch that pattern till it was the length that I wanted because I measured. And then I would just take out the ends of those chains. And you can do it that way as well. It's not wrong. Because one thing you have to remember in a craft like crochet, just because you do something a little bit different than somebody else, it doesn't make it wrong. It just makes it different. Okay, now I'm sure, yeah, there are stitches like a single crochet or a double crochet, half double crochet. Those are basic crochet stitches, sure. But if you want to make a V-stitch, you don't have to make it a double crochet V-stitch. You can do a half double or a single or even a triple V-stitch. And so you can, you can mess around with that and have so much fun. And this book, like I said, is great at doing that because it teaches you a lot of fun stitches that you can incorporate to stuff that you already know. And it's a great learning tool, okay? So anyway, back to our this and that question. Do you use multiples? And, and I hope I explained that well because it, it's math, okay? We all hate math, right? <laughs> okay, 1% of the people in the world love math, maybe two. <laughs> I'm not one of them. <laughs> but I do understand that it's important to have a good understanding of math and what multiples are in order to crochet. Uh, because if you want to adjust something, it's super duper easy. I have tried um, in the last couple years on my patterns to include the multiple if I can. Now, sometimes I don't because I want something to be a specific size. Okay. But that's where you can figure out the multiple yourself and and or just do the extra chain method and take out the ones you don't need and that again is where your tape measure comes in handy <laughs> so what do you do do you use the multiple or you just do what you want <laughs> both are okay <laughs> all righty so i hope i've explained what multiples are and even if you don't use that book go to the library and check out a book on stitch uh, patterns and you might even find this one at the library because that's a great, the library is a great source of finding crochet information books. Years ago, when I was a little bitty girl, not little bitty, well, I was always short, but <laughs> that's where I learned. I think I always, I can never remember. I was like between 13 and 15 when I actually sat down and learned crochet because I learned knitting first and I learned from library books. And also, if you're not sure if you want to try it, you know, you don't, you want to get the book, but you're not sure, you can check the book out from the library. And if you really like it, then you can go order it, you know, like a trial run. <laughs> All righty. So I just want to remind you to post your comments down in the comment section so that I can read them and others can read them and we can learn from each other. Thank you for being with me today on our This and That Question, and I'll see you next week for another This or That Question. <laughs> All right, bye-bye now.